Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus December 28, 2022. Some things are up in the air, but transits now help you feel good about the mystery. If there's something complicated you want to address, now would be a good time to give it a go since there's a spirit of openness and willingness to listen. Your appetite for knowledge is also strong today. You may come to excellent ideas or conclusions about business, career, or financial matters. Brainstorm about these things for the best results now. Connecting with your inner wisdom comes especially easy when you relax and center yourself. For many years, you've been experiencing profound and intense transformations around intimacy and sexual matters. Since 2008, Powerhouse Pluto, the planet of intensity and rebirth, has been orbiting in the degrees of your solar eighth house. Now, with him in direct motion, he is at full strength. If you have experienced traumas around trust, vulnerability, and sex, it is to teach you to know your worth to the core of your heart and spirit. It is also teaching you to heal those wounds by digging deep into the shadows in order to emerge like a phoenix. Continue to use this fiery energy to forgive, release, and rise again. The world is your oyster if you can believe it. Get out of your own head when you look at the trajectory of your professional journey when the moon in Aquarius conjunct Saturn in Aquarius. Do not limit yourself to what you can do or experience during this transit. Allow yourself to experience everything your professional journey has to offer. Being more confident in your ability to pursue whatever you please will help you move forward throughout the rest of your workday, especially when the moon stations void of course. When the moon left your financial sector yesterday it not only wrapped up the last new moon of 2022 but the only visit while Venus, the planet of money is here. While the Sun, Mercury, and Pluto will stay on to escort you well into your 2023 financial year, Venus will leave in the new year and as well as leaving you with your financial instincts and imagination fueled this has done wonders for your financial wish list. When you know what you want, you exude a striking sense of satisfaction that people notice right away. You beam with inner satisfaction. With the present planetary alignment, you are able to tune into your highest self-awareness and perhaps even resolve conflicts that have been worrying you for some time. Use this month's energy to increase your physical activities plan bike rides on weekends, use your free time for fun, aerobic diversions. The combination of these stellar forces makes your mood steady and pleasant. This is the day to try your luck at the lottery or even on some new stocks. Many would tell you that this is a very lucky number. You don't have to spend a lot of money but have a little fun with a draw or a number lotto game for a buck or two. Keep in mind, however, that this is not a good idea if you have any problems with gambling. Then the price is truly too high. Just as an alignment between Neptune and the asteroid Juno in your career sector is tightening, the moon returns for its last visit for the year. This will ensure your professional instincts and imagination are fueled and you are emotionally and intuitively engaged as the sense of what's possible that Jupiter left you with last week is turning into the resolve to turn professional dreams into resolutions. Whether it is looking back at the journey this professional year has taken you on or ahead to the next, there is reason for confidence. A week before Venus is due to return to an adventurous part of your chart to begin her mission to bring the spirit of romance and adventure together, the moon wraps up its last visit for the year. This has already helped to bring a mix of nostalgia, romance, passion and adventure together, making it easier to prepare for what lies ahead. Our eyes in the sky. This morning, the Aquarius moon urges us to set boundaries with our family and not let others take us for granted. It's a great time to reconnect with your personal power and vow to leave behind any people, situations, or behaviors that are holding you back. In good shape, your mind and body are in perfect accord and you feel totally invigorated. You're able to take advantage of this feeling to stay on top of your fitness regime. You appreciate how quickly your athleticism is improved and you're much more aware of your strengths and how effective your stamina is. Your body needs special attention and your nerves are on edge too. 
Everything that excites you endlessly is not always worth your attention. Strengthen your body's resistance and make sure to get plenty of sleep and rely on both for a bit longer. When eventually you do relax you enjoy it more intensely than ever. A tendency to rush into romance scares off potential candidates for your love. Such a forceful approach can have an adverse effect on the person you dear might put you in the mood to reconnect with your body, so try to get in a workout or some stretching. Use this cosmic force to look for ways to improvement your daily routines, communication skills, study habits, or personal goals. Tonight, the energy of the Pisces moon is upbeat, so be sure to reach out to the people you love for a quick hello. This is also a good time to work on your social media presence, so go ahead and post that holiday picture of your family. In the late morning, the Aquarius moon conjunct Saturn, setting a stoic tone to the day. This influence can stir up discord with family members or loved ones, but it is unlikely to manifest in arguments. Conflict might even be helpful, it could provide us with a platform to air grievances. But the Aquarius moon doesn't predispose us to reveal our feelings. Instead, we sense there is a gulf between ourselves and others that cannot be surmounted. This transit coincides with the holiday season, a time when we may be surrounded by those who only knew us as our younger selves, and are clueless as to the realities of our current day-to-day -day lives. We want to share our authentic selves with them but know that would be too controversial. It's up to us to be the mature ones in the dynamic and request space if we do not wish to mask our identity for the sake of social politeness. The moon begins its void of course following this transit, lasting nearly the rest of the day. It's easier for you to make important decisions. You complete tasks more effectively by doing them straight away. Don't put anything off or refuse outside help, instead improve your capacity to involve others. Every type of team activity you're involved in with your colleagues proceeds smoothly. Exercise self-control and don't make agreements without first thinking them through. Otherwise, you could get involved in unnecessary disagreements. You may receive an offer from someone you find attractive but don't be too upset if it doesn't go your way. Feeling restless you may resort to overeating but must resist the temptation to overindulge. The cosmic weather is then quiet until just before midnight, when the moon enters Pisces, exiting its void of course. Over the next two days, our headspace is dreamy and imaginative. If possible, use this time to relax and reset. This can be a sensitive period, when we are overly keyed into other people's feelings. Without proper energetic boundaries in place, we can even absorb others' emotions as if they were our own. We should be conscious to avoid high-intensity individuals or energy vampires who can drain us. Instead, use this influence to commune with your creative muse. Music and artistic media can have an uplifting effect on our emotional state. Pay attention to your dreams, as they will have intuitive messages to communicate.